And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navarre. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious, too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. We don't expect you to enter this Alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia. If that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa Setjav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. who befriended these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I, I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. Pathfinder, thank you so much for returning the Moshai to us. I'm glad I could help. Seems your people really cherish her. She is dear to us. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural center. He'd be honored to speak with you. Should I apply for an outpost? I miss having you. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Politicians get nervous when you hold anything more explosive than a rotten egg. <laughs> You've seen this too. The military life echoes everywhere. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachnel. A Heskarl with the Resistance. A Heskarl? Well, centuries ago, Heskarl were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program. An N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. They learned to fight in all environments, on little food or sleep, to care for their injured. 
to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my brother a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Pathfinder, thank you for arranging my access to the Cultural Center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> ah, it would take a lifetime. I'd enjoy that. All the reading. History, science, culture. Get some snacks, settle into that corner over there. No offense, but I'm starting with the Asari. Oh, sure. But when you get to Elcor Hamlet... I want to know. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peeps about it. Exiles, they're happy to answer any questions you may have. I see a card to learn more about your own culture. Welcome to the next session. We asked you to spend a few short minutes going through immigration processing, then we'll have you on your way. Believe it! Gills reconfigured our entire nav array. O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it! Callow, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right! All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know! You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty-hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. If he had the Tempest up on blocks, I might see it. Look, Callow, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. The Tempest is ours now. She has to serve our mission first in whatever capacity we need. Gil, change whatever you have to. I wonder, in time, will strangers be treating your achievements so carelessly? Peace and quiet, finally. Thanks, Ryder. Okay, show's over. Back to it.
So the Angara were fighting their own this whole time. Fuck. Wonder how Jarl's taking it. Not well. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jarl and Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. We don't technically have uniforms, but this is a little casual. <laughs> Just convenience, swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rofshin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait, what? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this was about armor. Are you deliberately trying to offend Jal? Um, of course he is. That's the point. Asking stuff diplomats leave out. Armor for answers. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? I hope you know what you're doing. I don't need the Nexus breathing down my neck. Relax. Jar won't complain to HR or whatever Tan thinks we report to. We were joking around and realized we didn't know how to insult each other. Or how not to. Some things are so ingrained, they're invisible. We didn't even know the warning signs, so we got it over with. Now we won't do it accidentally, like when we're trying to negotiate an outpost. Enough of his people want to shoot us now. Let's just back away from this, leave it to the professionals. Uh, if you like. Jar doesn't care, but he wouldn't want his bosses getting tired about it either. Do you know our team will get hit by this stuff one way or another? You ask me, better over beers and guns. That vault on Aya was so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Won't know until we talk to those Asari on Eos. Any chance of swinging by? Any more Commando War stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belenza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her and then prayed for her. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Yeah, Ryder? We'll talk later. I know it. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime.
Hey. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Ket. Fire and explosives are good against anything with heavy armor. Or anything, really. Generally, no one likes being set on fire. Generally? There's a story behind this. Ha, <laughs> there sure is. You mentioned that people generally don't like being set on fire. <laughs> I was hoping you'd ask. So, about 400 years ago, give or take a decade, me and my outfit were pinned down during a skirmish with another merc group. So I pull off my usual stunt, charge ahead and breach their barricade. Pop my flamethrower and get ready to let go. Only to see them all screaming and running away. Turns out I crashed through a shipment of Turian brandy on my way in. Never even noticed I was on fire. But they sure did. <laughs> Never seen a pack of mercs panic that badly before. We can talk more later. Sure.